Silicon is all around us with extraordinary properties and uses. These days, it's used in electronics and other household items, but the usage of this element has dated back as early as the Stone Age. The first recorded use of silicon was during the Stone Age. Humans used flint, a form of quartz whose chemical structure is crystalline silicon dioxide for weapons, tools, and for starting fires. In India, there were temples built out of sandstone. The sandstone contained silicon. In 1789, a French chemist by the name of Antoine Lavoisier suggested that quartz could be broken further into a chemical element. He said that whatever this element may be, it is very abundant since you could obtain quartz anywhere in the world. This happened to be true because silicon makes up 28% of the Earth's crust. In 1808, Sir Humphrey Davy tried obtaining silicon using his method which had worked for potassium and calcium. Sadly, it did not. Three years after Davy's experiments, French scientists Joseph L. Gay-Lussac and Louis-Jacques Thénard created impure silicon by mixing potassium with silicon tetrafluoride, which produced a reddish-brown substance which is thought to be amphorous silicon. In 1824, a Swedish chemist named John Jacob Brazilius mixed potassium fluorosilicate with potassium, creating amphorous silicon. He then purified the substance by washing it repeatedly, thus producing the first known silicon. He named the element silicium. During this time, there were many arguments whether silicon or silicium was a metal or a non-metal. Davy believed it was a non-metal, while Brazilius believed it was a metal. Silicon is a better conductor of electricity than non-metals, however, it is not as good a conductor than the metals and the transition elements. In 1831, a Scottish chemist by the name of Thomas Thompson changed the name silicium to silicon. Thompson kept the part silicis from Brazilius, which translates to flint in Latin. He changed the suffix to on because the element share properties with carbon and boron rather than the properties of magnesium and calcium. Silicon is a member of the group 14 elements. Elements in this group are carbon, tin, lead, and unuquadium. These elements become more metallic as they go down the column. They form different compounds and are very hard to find in nature by themselves. Except unuquadium is made in labs. The atomic mass of silicon is 28.086. The density is 2.30 grams per centimeter cubed. At room temperature, silicon is a solid. It boils at 2,900 degrees Celsius and melts at 1,414 degrees Celsius. It has a glassy off-white color and exists in two allotropic forms. One, shiny with grayish blackish crystals and two has no crystal structure. It is a semiconductor which means it has both the properties of metals and non-metals. Silicon reacts at high temperatures and becomes more reactive as the temperature goes up. It is always in a compound when found in nature. Some of the compounds that silicon forms are sand which is equal to silicon plus oxygen plus silicates, a variety of minerals which includes quartz and flint which is equal to silicon plus silicon nitride, silicone, which is equal to oxygen plus silicon plus organic groups, and semiconductors, which is equal to silicon plus boron or silicon plus phosphorus. Silicon is found in sand, quartz, computers, iPods, TVs, projectors, lubricants, adhesives, silica gel, which is found in handbags and other products that are used to keep it dry in the store. Watches, flint, and sachets. Silicon is mined by the United States, Venezuela, Australia, Canada, China, Egypt, France, Iceland, India, Kazakhstan, Norway, Poland, Romania, Russia, South Africa, Spain, and Ukraine. Silicon is obtained by heating silicon dioxide with carbon. Carbon replaces the silicon in the compound. The silicon formed is 96 to 98 percent pure. The formula for extracting is SiO2 plus C plus heat is equal to CO2 plus Si. There are many uses for silicon and all of them are for good reasons. 
Silicon is used in electronics. This helps push technology forward. The basic building blocks for computers are transistors and electronic components. These are made of silicon. Solar cells are made of silicon. They are great for green energy and one day will help play a big role in the future. Rectifiers made of silicon help create alternating currents which is needed in electrical products. Alloys are formed with silicon and this helps produce better steel for buildings. In welding, right before you weld, you need to make molds and all of these molds are made of silicon. Welding molds are useful because they help make your designs more accurate. Here's one that we all love, sand. Sand is made up of silicon and we love making sand castles. Sand is also used in filtration systems. Sand already contains silicon. The abrasive part of sand is used to clean water and to clean our sewage. Silicon is also used as an insulator and is used to provide a cheap source of heat. It also is more eco-friendly than a heater. Silicon also appears in paper, rubber balls, and insecticides. We use these all the time for writing, fun, and gardening to keep away the pests. Silicon is used by you all the time, even though sometimes you don't know that you're using it. For example, take a look at your phone. See the screen? The screen is made of glass. The glass contains silicon. Silicon not only appears in glass, but in ceramics, like mugs and plates, abrasive surfaces like sandpaper, food additives like the color of your favorite soda, water filtration systems, and for the ladies, silicon appears in cosmetics such as lipstick. Silicon also appears in pharmaceuticals such as cough syrup, ibuprofen, and other pills needed to numb the pain in swollen joints or to get rid of that cold or cough of yours. Silicon and magnesium together form an alloy that is very resistant to corrosion. Silicones are found in swim caps and swim goggles such as those used by Michael Phelps in the London 2012 Olympic Games, toys, lubricants, weatherproofing materials such as gutters, foaming agents such as soap, electrical insulation such as the blue outer plasticky part that is found on copper wire that is used for circuit boards and parts for automobile engines. Silicon carbide is the hardest substance known to man. And one last thing, the area we live in is named after the element, Silicon Valley. Thank you for listening and watching.